And just like that, it's New Year's Eve. And I need me a video where I'm just chillaxed, totally not focusing on a specific subject, but just to walk around outside with you after several, several consecutive days of much needed rain, even though most of my orchids could not benefit from it. It's too cold to give them all that good of a flush. Those that could stay outside were probably very, very happy to be at the receiving end of it. Thank you for being here. Happy New Year's Eve. Today, I'm going to just show you orchids that fit into the category of the night, into the category of the day, which is, and just like that. Orchids, my goodness, sometimes I get so anxious, especially this time of year. How am I gonna bring them through to spring? Every day brings me one step closer, but I am more stressed, I feel, during the colder months of the year than I am when I'm running around trying to accommodate humidity with hot winds. So, taking that and segueing into hot winds, I'm not gonna be that long-winded, ha 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 ha, <laughs> today, but I do want to show you what made me bring up this category of and just like that. Let's start right here where we left off. <laughs> Dendrobium Victoria Regina. Being able to cope with outdoor temperatures doing really, really well. All her three new growths are absolutely progressing. I love it. Has gotten drenched for six days in a row. And this orchid has responded with a new growth. And just like that, that little cakey that we mounted over a year ago is growing its own new growth. Pretty amazing, considering how we always are so careful not to get any water into the crowns, the nooks and crannies, new growths because of fear of rot. It just goes to show that if nature can do its thing, and it has been pouring with rain, this orchid was never protected, no matter how wet it is gonna get, a new growth will develop and be just fine. Another, and just like that, <laughs> and I'm just seeing through the viewfinder, a third, and just like that, on my Eonopsis popcorn Haruri. This is insane. I have two spikes on the go right here, <laughs> and just now, and just like that, here is a third spike coming. That is, no, it just, you just think it's not possible, is it? But there you go, popcorn haruri, spikes. <laughs> and then fitting to the theme, and just like that, spike number three, amazing, absolutely amazing. Now the Dendrobium nobili no ID, I had these nubbins on my radar a couple of days ago, but you know what? There's a neighbor right here, Dendrobium nobly variety Cooksonianum. So I'm thinking nobly, you know, one of those complex hybrids that you get in the store. Okay, very, very early days in my climate, but here we are. And then, and just like that, I've been looking since then for nubbins on the Cooksonianum. Look at them. Here, please do me a favor. Here they are. Ta-da! And just like that. Now, I'm not going to take credit for these nubbins because this orchid was gifted to me by Fernanda Nathimento Orchids and Succulents, but nubbins on the Nobili variety Cooksonianum, just like that. Very, very early. I'm very pleased about that, to be honest with you. I'm feeling a little bit hard done by the lack of blooms. I mean, I've got blooms, but you know, this is for me like we should be in February, March right now to see these nubbins, but here we are on New Year's Eve and we've got the nubbins. And do you see anything in here? Another orchid gifted to me by Fernanda Nathimento Orchids and Succulents. This is Bletia striata. Can you see it? Can you see them? I think I've got six growths starting. I'm gonna try and do this through the viewfinder. One, two, three, four, five, 
I think I saw six. Somewhere, there it is, six. Ta-da! And just like that, new growth on Blatia striata. Woohoo! <laughs> and this is Fios Tancumbilie starting on the spike for 2022. There's one. And let me give it another go. There's one right here. So that's two, which is great because whatever propagation method doesn't work this year, we've got 3.0 coming up, bar any mistakes of me snapping them. But there we go. 2022 blooms are on the way. <laughs> and just like that, Dendrobium berry oda is already extending those spikes. It felt like just a week ago when I saw them developing at the apex of the leaf joints, but they are already <laughs> way out. Also, in my opinion, far too early. But, you know, 2021 was the year of my orchids are behind. Is 2022 going to be the year of my orchids are blooming way too soon? Who knows? But here we are. And just like that, Berry Oda is on her way back. Now, we may not get the same spectacle as in 2020 and 2021, because she's had quite the mangled divisions taken out of her. We've been going through quite a, let's say, readjustment process, but it's not looking too shabby in my opinion. We have ourselves a little orchid top gaggle right here. Oh my goodness, look what I saw this morning. Boys, maybe you can help out, but look at that. Can you see there? This is the Vanderglossum Alexandra, and just like that, I think that is the start of a spike. I am not holding my breath that this orchid will bloom out, but you never, never know. The fact that she is trying, ridiculous, but I am loving it. Considering I had forgotten my Brassavola flagellaris a few nights, not in a row, but you know, when it was colder than any Brassavola would like, and I left her out to get rained on, one full day and full night, just to risk it, because I know she would enjoy that. Haha, <laughs> got a new growth coming. I can't believe it. I would also consider this premature, but I'll take it. Anything, anything this time of year. Whew, I'll take it. So got a new growth coming, totally unexpected. This is my beautiful Lelia Amethyst. Love her to bits. Help me out here. Is this just me wishful thinking in there? And just like that, do I get a spike after almost four years of growing this orchid? Could it be, could it be? I have been fluked several times in the past, but I wonder, this, is, this does not look like something I recognize from every time I was fluked. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if Lelia Amethyst were to bloom for me and be a first time bloomer? Yeah, I saw that the other day and I'm like, really? I have not seen the likes of you before. This is different. Fingers crossed and not to be outdone. The neighbor right here, look at this. Mirmecatabola Francis Fox on the move with a spike. Now this is gonna take quite some time to develop. No promises of any accidents happening, but oh, this makes me so happy considering I lost my other one to Fusarium. And now this one was actually the weakest of the two. And it turns out the replacement died, but the original one I bought is doing fine and well and is trying to bloom again. This makes me so happy, you have no idea. Indoors with flashlight on. Ha, for reasons. This is my other Sunya Green. I've got the mailman, which I have never managed to bloom out. And I can see bud blast in the apex of that leaf, but I still have one bud to go. You cannot believe what I was thinking when I said, are you for real? When I saw this a couple of days ago, are you for real? It is New Year's Eve and I have a bud. You guys, keep your fingers crossed for me. I have a video coming up about this and 
I'll explain in further detail. But my goodness, if this works out, this is going to be, well, is it a revelation or what is going on? So one bud blast in there of my Sunya green. I still have the other one. So fingers crossed because and just like that, there was a bud. Say what? In its own little world, in its own little tub, has not been repotted since I got this Dendrobium Patricia van Puyenbroek from Tokyo World Mark and a Cairn Orchids. I've been waiting to get the timing right. So it's still in its little seedling pot, but that's okay. We already have a new growth that has developed throughout these past months since I've brought the orchids indoors. But, and just like that, we've got ourselves spikes coming. For real, for real. That would be amazing if they can bloom out. That'd be awesome. Are you one like that as well? Let's have a look. Yep, something is happening in there as well. That's awesome. So Dendrobium Patricia van Puyenbroek. Hey, <laughs> we're going to get ourselves some blooms if nothing goes wrong. And just like that, Dendrobium tetragonum variety giganteum has opened its first bloom. Really, just like that, because two days ago it wasn't there. Then I went to check my orchids. I'm like, what are you doing? No fragrance. But still, also way too early. <laughs> are we, are we're heading for a theme here now. 2022. These are way too early. <laughs> Happy holiday is as well open. I'm still waiting for the flares to happen. I'm just wondering that if the lack of extra light is going to stop those petals and sepals from turning white, giving me that yellow flare. But she's pretty nonetheless and very, very welcome. And then here we are. We'll do another video on these guys. But yeah, Black Pearl has opened. Jack of Diamonds is a Jack this time, not a Jill. And it's the first time I'm seeing him. And of course, another video coming on the loose Neary Blue over there, which is looking fabulous as well. And do I dare say that I'm smelling cinnamon and ginger now? It's taken several days, but I just got a whiff of it. That is incredible. That was amazing. I'd forgotten how gorgeous that smells. It's a scent that you can't forget, but then when they open up and you get it again, wow. Now this one doesn't fit into the category of and just like that. No, <laughs> this spike has been going since November. Oh, both of them actually. But again, another video on that. And here comes the first new growth of Rincodendrum, Cavalgata and Verde. That is the one I only saw this morning. So overnight and just like that. Now this one won't bloom, but we are on our way. Oh, any sign of spring. Oh, I embrace that. <laughs> but I have something else to show you. You won't believe this. My little Dendrobium Kingianum keikis. Daisy chain potting up styly. They are keikis. What is it doing with a bud? <laughs> Look at this. That's incredible. Yes, I am going to let it bloom. I have lots and lots of little keikis in here. The little growth that started when I did this daisy chain potting up method there. It is matured. It's fine. The leaf is looking glossy. And when I saw this, I'm like, no way. You have got to be kidding me. I'm going to have one itty itty bitty little bloom of a Dendrobium kingianum for the first time in my collection. Of course, if nothing goes wrong, but so far so good. little Cattleya Cernua gracing the outside blooming alley, reminding me of, well, maybe another eight weeks before I can bring them all outside, making me look forward to getting my blooming alley back the way it should be. Uh, she's holding the fort, let's just say it that way. And just like that, 
2021, goodbye and welcome 2022. I hope that you have yourself a very, very safe night. Most importantly, make sure that you can welcome 2022. Be safe, watch out for those that aren't as responsible. And now I'm going to go and sit down and watch, as I do every year, dinner for one, Miss Sophie's birthday. Thank you everybody for a fabulous year. Thank you for your support throughout this entire year. I look forward to being able to do the same, if not more, in the coming year. Who knows what it will bring, but for now I've got a schedule going. I can't keep up with filming, but <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Have yourselves a safe night and a very, very happy new year. Roll on 2022. I hope that everything that you need to happen in your life will happen in 2022. See you next year. Bye.